It's good, the voice. Is the mi microphone all right? Microphone is all right. It's perfect. It makes Very it good. perfect. Molto all bene. the cameras have started and we have okay. to count until 10. We're not the CNN, so we're not so quick. We have to count to 10. No problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> You're used to counting. Sure. Sure. Who is going to count, you or me? You. Mr. Pavarotti, uh, you have said, I love Verdi, Puccini, and Mascagni, but my voice loves Bellini and Donizetti. Mm. Could you enlarge on that? I think a lyric voice, a tenor lyric voice, likes the lyric pieces by instinct. So Donizetti is the most lyric of the writer, of the composer of the 19th century, and so my voice doesn't like Donizetti. In fact, I'm doing Elixir of Love, and I'm going to do until I'm singing. First, because he's the composer, and second, because he's the character different than any other. A little funny. He's yes. a, a country poet, like I probably am, so I like it. Uh, like operatic composer myself. I was born in October, like Verdi, uh, 50 miles away from where Verdi was born. Uh, I'm raised more or less in the same way, a little uh, unsophisticated, but with great respect for the music of these composers, for the music generally and I love this music more than any other in terms of operatic, in terms of musician by abstract or let's say musician in terms of opera and classic. My preferred is Mozart because he's, I think he's so genial than he's caring if you consider when he writes the music. And uh, Every time I hear this composer, my soul is very happy. I insist very much to do Idomeneo, new production of the Metropolitan, then we brought even in Salzburg with great success. I think this year we are going to do uh, a revival at the Met, even next year. And you're coming to Copenhagen? And I'm coming to Copenhagen on the 5th of December to do one. So, uh, my voice prefer Donizetti. I prefer Verdi like operatic composer and Mozart like general musician. And when you say your voice prefers Donizetti, um, what is feel more comfortable? What, is the, feel what does your voice not like about Verdi and Puccini? No, it's not that he doesn't like Verdi. I think he suit better there. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a lot of Verdi, so. Even in Verdi, uh, I can drive my voice uh, there, but I am using the word drive my voice. In Donizetti, I think my voice is expressing itself wild. If you understand, for example, the, on the horse, Donizetti voice, Donizetti, yes. uh, my voice in Donizetti is the free horse, and it's jumping uh, without any problem. Verdi, to drive the horse very carefully, to I make the, the jump. Uh, the result is sometimes the same, doesn't, doesn't matter. But for me, the I am driving is a little more difficult. I, I really had that thought that maybe your great interest for horses is because there is a similarity there is a big in, similarity, in the training big, and huge similarity. concentration. For example, a horse is the same for everybody, like an aria. Uh, there is somebody who is doing the course fantastic, and they arrive first, and uh, somebody else who doesn't do so well arrive fourth, third, second, and the same in the opera, more or less is the same. And it needs a lot of training. 
uh, constantly every day. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I will stop to practice when I stop to sing. The day that I decide I'm stopping to sing, I will stop to practice. Can be, I'm not even sure. Can be that I will practice even after. Yeah. <laughs> My father is 78 and every morning is vocalizing. Wow, He's singing in the, in the, for, for people that they married in the Saturday and Sunday on the church. Beautifully, be beautiful, fresh voice till now. Very, very much uh, a life person. I just hope that my voice stop a little earlier than that. <laughs> I was at uh, your concert in Hamburg, and um, I was, first of all, very surprised that it was such an intimate experience. We were 20,000 people, and uh, your voice was with every one of us. But I also thought, what's it like for you? How, how much of your voice do you get back, and what's it like to sing? Uh, the real difficult thing in this uh, in this big arena, uh, you touch the right point, is to have the voice back. So I have monitor in front and monitor on the back. And if I hear my voice, I can give you the the most uh, variety of the color of my voice without pushing. And if I don't hear, unfortunately, I will push. So you will hear probably one or two color, and it's not going to be so exciting. But do you hear it more there than in a concert room, or do you get more uh, back because there is nothing else? Not really. Not really. Not, not no. really. The same than in a concert room. But <laughs> it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great way to hear your voice. Yes, isn't it? This is good. Very good. Um, do you have to focus differently when you have a microphone? No, no, you have to sing exactly the same. That is the difficulty. Then if you don't hear yourself, unfortunately, you don't do it. No. You have the tendency to push. Yeah. But yeah. with the system that we have now, I think we are almost perfect there. These concerts are, in their conception, very modern. It's what yes. young people do, go to this big thing. Yes, that is the idea. But, but opera is, in a way, old-fashioned, isn't it? What's, what's I think opera, in terms of music, is old-fashioned because it, exactly what we really like is the opera that is old-fashioned. We don't like modern opera. Not my voice, at least, doesn't like it. I go to, to hear modern opera, but uh, I don't think it's, it's written for my voice. And I'm interested in, mu in modern music. Uh, in that respect, is an old-fashioned uh, choice. But uh, with this concert, I think it become uh, almost uh, pop music, modern music, yeah. modern in terms of uh, discover from a kind of uh, uh, new people, uh, young or not young, then they have never heard opera before, and they want to come to the opera after this kind of concert. But can can you uh, can you describe the fascination of opera because it's there for people. Who are well, there? Uh, the fascination is, in my opinion, generally the presence on the stage of personality. Uh, when on the stage you have personality, then they do, uh, then they make you be uh, pay attention when they come in, and they describe something uh, who is, like you say, old-fashioned, uh, sometimes unbelievable. But they, they begin to involve you with their own way to say the thing. It becomes magic, so you are transport. When I say pers personality there, uh, is, I say that because it's very difficult to have personality there. It's much more easy to have personality in the pitch. So you will find a very good conductor then, and fortunately he doesn't have the same stuff up there. Uh, and that you assist to a performance, then you begin to sit down and you begin to judge if the tenor is singing better than the bass, if the bass, and that is good, but it's another aspect of music, then it's not what I like. I would like to sit there and to be uh, involved in what is going to happen on the stage and to forget everything, even sometimes the word and they are stupid, sometimes the and, and really believe what, what is going on there. And that uh, is very difficult. You need big artists to, to do that. 
or somebody who is coming in and he has a state present, then he's saying something very special, different than any other. That could also. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, think, I think so. But but the music itself. The music is the same for everybody. Yes, and it's not always it's a very success. well done from the com conductor. Generally, we have fantastic conductor in this day, and they make music so, and fantastic orchestra. It depends, it depends from the performance. It depends on the performance from the same orchestra, same conductor, same singers. There is one day that is starting in one way, and the other day is starting not so good, and is ending not so good. Uh, that is the magic of the live performance. If you are, uh, if you have this feeling that everybody is participating at the best, and then you begin with the conductor. When the conductor is playing the symphony, introduction you see already which day is going to be and then the first singer that is singing the first aria after that everything is going fighting for the best and then the, the audience is tra even the audience even the audience yeah. sure even the audience they are part of the of a live performance uh, do you feel the audience oh very, yes very you were in Hamburg for example and you hear this for example, this silence between one piece and the other. And when you hear total silence of 20,000 people in the open air, it means they are very attentive to you. <laughs> they are very looking for. I think it was very, yes. very good experience there. And, uh, and uh, you don't have to, you don't feel the difference from the person there and the person. That's for me, uh, the it's just them. with the music yeah. and nothing else. Okay. Obviously, I was more concentrated in the second part because it was dark. And the music I am used to do in a dark way with the light, oh, artificial light, so because that is the stage. To be concentrated in the light day, in the daylight, is very, it's more difficult. But still, I am used little by little. Thank you very much. Pleasant. Thank you. Very pleasant. Grazie. Okay. Un, sal un saluto a tutti. You're a beautiful young lady. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, she is. <laughs>